Twas the night before Christmas in Askertown, and all through the night the... Oh, they're buying Urpex. Well, that can't be helped. After all, Robin and Crom are dressed up for the festive occasion, and not just them. Frederick, Lissa, and even Tharja are partaking in the winter festival as well. What sort of shenanigans will this fine group of miscreants get into this Christmas day? This orb business venture really took off, huh? We were able to scam a bunch of children into spending excess amounts of money for PNGs of ourselves. Now, we can afford gifts for everyone. Well said, Robin. Don't you two have any fiber or morale? Aw, oh, shove it up your stocking. Yeah. Remind me to never partake in this again. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I wonder how the boys are doing. How about you, Tharja? Zimmy Zammy Zoo, I kill you. Oh, hey, it worked. The Christmas tree! Tharja, why would you do that? I needed to test a new spell I was working on, so it was either the tree or you. Did you ever consider neither? Oh, man, what am I going to tell Crom when he gets back? Nothing. Personally, I think this looks a lot better. We can't do that. Tom is going to be so mad when he finds out. Well, he doesn't have to find out if you catch my drift. We can just kill- uh, Go uh, bury it somewhere. Well, then we can have them find out what happened. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Everyone, make sure to keep the gifts out of sight from Lisa and Tharja. We don't want them to find out. This Christmas is going to be spectacular, right, Frederick? Pick a god and pray. Wait, Frederick, are you Jewish? They enter the house. Hey, where's the Christmas tree? Hey, hey guys, you're back early. <laughs> We've been gone all day. Anyway, Lisa, where's the Christmas tree? Oh, yeah, uh, right. You see, uh, Tharja is taking it out for a walk. A walk? Yep. I see. That doesn't sound suspicious at all. I believe it undoubtedly. I'm back from burying the tree! Oh. Burying? Lisa, what's the meaning of this? Uh, okay, so uh, before you get mad at me, I just want to say that it's all Tharja's fault. Someone didn't appreciate a charred tree, so Lisa made me bury it. I'm sorry, did you say charred? How do you char a tree? If we had another tree, I could show you. Well, I guess we need to get a new tree then. But where from? I know the perfect place. Crab, Frederick, and Robin go to a nearby forest. Here we are. Okay, smartass. How are we supposed to deroot one of these giant trees? Silly Robin, we're not here for those trees. So we came to a forest. You know, an area that's full of trees and aren't taking one of them home? We're here to hunt down a Christmas tree. Did you just say hunt? Trees aren't animals, Crom. I beg to differ. This is a Christmas tree we're talking about. What exactly are you trying to imply? During this time of year, a species of tree grows sentience and lurk among their kind. We're here to capture one of them. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Just bear with me, I'll promise it'll pay off. They search around for a Christmas tree. Damn it, how are we supposed to find a Christmas tree in this forest? At this point, I wouldn't mind just digging up the tree Tharja burnt. Perhaps we need a new approach. That gives me an idea. Ah, do tell. Frederick is tied up to a tree. I wish I didn't ask. Don't worry. It'll be fine, most likely. Probably. I think. Hopefully. I'm even less confident in this now, thanks. Shh. I hear something. A Christmas tree walks up to Frederick. There it is. What the actual fuck? This thing can't hurt me, right? Right? Don't worry, Frederick. We won't let it kill you. It has the ability to kill? Now. Crumb slashes at the Christmas tree. Are we seriously taking this back with us? Of course we are. We didn't come all this way out here not to drag a carcass back home. I really wish that sentence didn't come out of your mouth. The three of them returned home. Welcome back. What is that thing? It's a Christmas tree. Why is it bleeding and touching? Don't ask. Please don't. I spent a lot of time and effort getting this. So I'm going to place the Christmas tree down and then we're going to start opening gifts. At least that's something enjoyable. Anyway, who wants to go first? Here, Robin. I got you a gift, Wink. Oh, wow. Thank you, Tharja. I can't believe you got me a Christmas tree. Where did you get that? I was practicing duplication magic, and I ended up with a spare Christmas tree. So I didn't need to go into the forest after all. Yes, now do me a favor and get that carcass out of the house. It's stinking up the place. Tharja, you don't know how much this means to me right now. 
I'm glad to hear you like your gift, Wink. Don't you like the Christmas tree we got together, Robin? I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. And so, Christmas was saved thanks to Tharja, who also caused the problem in the first place. Nevertheless, everyone was able to have a spectacular Christmas season until they had to vacate the vicinity due to overwhelming fumes that were produced by the carcass. What sort of shenanigans will this group of miscreants get into next time? Only time will tell. With one story at journey's end, another tale begins to unfold. In the wake of the winter festival, we find some troubled youth in the midst of a conflict between two not-so-jolly festival goers. Will they be able to resolve this dilemma and bring back the spirit of the winter festival? We can only hope. Are you enjoying your time at the festival, Sonaki? I sure am. I just wish that we could also spend it with... Father? Father? Wait, Sephiron? God damn it. Why, hello, Altena. What a pleasure it is to see you once again. It sure is. I would say it's two years of alimony worth of pleasure. Have anything to say about that? Well, you see, I have a good reason for not paying alimony. Do tell, then. I'm dying to know. It's because you're a bitch. You screwed me over in the divorce. That's because you let a secret double life and hid it away from me, Laron. What's that? I can't hear you over my Christmas cheer. Laron, I swear to you, nay. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. Please stop fighting. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true! All, All I, I want, I want for, for Christmas, Christmas is, is you! you. Sonicky runs off crying. Stupid Altina. Oh, hi crying girl. What's the matter? It's nothing. Okay, bye! Wait, where are you going? Back to the festival? Aren't you going to emotionally support me? But you just said you were fine. Well, I'm clearly not fine. Well, let me go get my friend Zephiel. He's better at handling this type of stuff. Nino brings Zephiel to the scene. Oh, hello, crying girl. What's the matter? It's nothing. Okay, bye. Wait, where are you going? Back to the festival? What is wrong with you people? Listen, I can't help people that don't want the help. Fine, I'll elaborate. Back to Altina. Bitch, stupid Sephiron. At this rate, I'm going to need a bounty hunter to get that alimony. I heard you're in need of a bounty hunter. How long have you- You know what? It doesn't matter. I assume you are one by trade, then. Well, if by bounty hunter, you mean assassin, then yes, I am a bounty hunter. Those are completely different things. Does it matter in the end if my duties remain the same? Yes, it does. I don't want you to kill him. Well then, what do you want me to do? I just need him to pay his alimony. Say no more. I'll threaten his life until- No! This man must be important to you, if you wish to keep him alive. Much as I wish he weren't, he's my daughter's father. She'd be devastated if he weren't around anymore. As such, I'm going to have to decline. Twenty percent. Excuse me? I can get the money, guaranteed, even if it means playing by your rules. Just give me a cut of the money. Fine, I'll hire your services then. Very well. I expect good things out of this. Jafar disappears. He's totally dead, isn't he? Back to Sonicky. And then they broke into a Mariah Carey fit, huh? I just wish we could all be a family again, but I guess that won't happen. Hey, why don't we bring them back together then? But how? They really have it out for each other. Maybe it's best if we don't interfere. Oh, I know. What if we ask Cantuslaws for help? Maybe that could work. Yeah, let's try it out then. You two know that he isn't real, right? Wait, he's not real? Zephiel, how could you say that? But... Don't listen to him, Nino. He eats coal on Christmas. I most certainly do not. Yeah, Zephiel just lacks Christmas spirit. Hey, what if we help Zephiel get back to his Christmas roots? That's a wonderful idea. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Meanwhile, elsewhere. 
<laughs> Down in the dumps, stranger. Ah, pay no heed to my rumblings. Simply murmuring to myself. Perhaps you're having money troubles. I'm, I'm sorry. Who did you say you were again? My name is Jafar. I've come to collect the alimony you owe to my client. Oh, my apologies. Come with me behind this shady alleyway. I left it over there. Well, that was easy enough. Thanks for making this easy for the both of us. Yeah! Severan hits Jafar with a bad bones. Damn. That's smart. Get back here! Back to Sonaki. Are you too sure this is safe? Why would you ask that? Because you two tied me to the roof of a three-story building. Yeah, and once Cantus Law saves you, then you'll believe in him again. This was a great idea, Nino. I know, right? I'm so dead. Don't say that. Believe, Zephyr. Believe. I believe. I believe I'm a goner. Help! Back to Sephiroth. Stop running. No, you'll kill me if I do. Of course I will. But you'll be saving me time. Forget it! Help! The two of them run past Sonaki, Nino, and Zephyl. Was that father? Oh no, he's in trouble! We have to help him. Jafar? I told him no assassinations during the holidays. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. What about me? Don't worry. Cantus Laws will help you out. Back to Sephiroth. I need to find a hiding spot. There! Sephiroth manages to evade Jafar by hiding behind a tall person. <sighs> that was close. Hello, Sephiron. God damn it. Oh, Altena, my darling. How wonderful it is to see you. Where's my money? Ah, right to the point, huh? Okay, fine. Here. Well, aren't you being cooperative? Thank you. Yeah! What the hell? I'm a literal goddess, remember? I called bullshit. I see you found the man on the run. Well... Shit. Wait! Don't hurt him. Jafar, what did I say about murdering people during the holidays? Only if they don't have a family. Sonaki, where have you been? Altina, we don't need money to be happy. Why can't we just celebrate the holidays as a family? I just wanted to get you that limited edition winter crumb for Christmas. Altina. What? You hired an assassin just so you could buy orbs? Yes? Got any good excuses, Jafar? I just wanted to get you that limited edition winter crop for Christmas. Oh, Jafar. <sighs> You're both terrible. I hope you know that. Listen, we may have our differences, but why don't we spend the rest of the day as a family? For Sonaki. Truly? You know what? Sure. As long as you keep the assassination plots out of it. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Sonaki. Thank you, Nino. Would you and Jafar care to join us? We'd be delighted. Wonderful! Let's have the best Christmas ever! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. I feel as though terrible things happen to me, despite all that I do. And I can't control it. Here I am, tied to the roof, waiting for someone who isn't real on Christmas Eve. Help, Mariah? And so, after a failed assassination attempt, the true meaning of Christmas was discovered. Sonaki was able to celebrate the holidays with the people she loved the most, and Nino and Jafar got scammed out of money for orbs. Meanwhile, Zephyr froze to death and now despises humankind. A happy end for everyone, except for Zephyr. And to our listeners out there, have a happy holiday and may you not freeze to death! Thank you for watching! You know who else is subscribed to Z Shadow? My mom! Whoa!